How are we doing folks? Right, this is a nighttime explore. Going to uh, explore one of the deep shelters in, uh, in Dover area. And um, yeah, not don't really do the nighttime uh, explores very much, but uh, yeah, we can see what happens. Not been to this place for a while either. Um, yeah. World War II deep shelter built in the Second World War, possibly around 1941. Excuse me. Uh, Hello. That's my camera. My <coughs> car's just been broken into. I've Is called it? the police. What the fuck? Oh, hang on. Uh, you're Ian from IKS, aren't oh, yes, you? Yes, I thought that was my camera, actually. Oh, um, right. Oh, maybe it was. Sorry. Uh, it's a bit of confusion here, folks. Oh, dear. It seems. Well, in that case, then I must be mistaken. Shall we go on and explore together? Why not? Oh, OK. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cool. Now, that one won't pr probably be f able to see in this light until he's done that. Yeah, that one you got. Kissing gate. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we do? Whoops. Is it poo? Watch out, cows in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Jesus. <laughs> one. Go on. It's yeah. The boat in the sky. <laughs> Where? That thing? Yeah. It looks like it's in the sky. It, it does, doesn't it? it? Yeah. I started running well, out of it... things to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright though. It's good. Is it safe to have lights on down here or is it best to go past here a bit covert? Yeah, so it should be alright. should be alright. Oh, I'll put him off for a minute because there's not much point unless we got... Oi! <laughs> yep, a daisy. Easy, mate. You go, you go. You right, dude? Getting old now, yeah. that's the trouble. Well, oh, do you want me to, sorry, mate, let me That's okay. That. No, I was going to say if you wanted it, you can grab it. I've just put it into pause mode, so don't worry too much. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, sorry. Slip past you a bit closer. Yeah. Anyway, secret vault here down in Dover. Um, off the cuff comedy. Don't think they'll be hiring me in the BBC anytime soon, but uh, the, yeah. Uh, the cliff there, mate. Oh, shit. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, danger time apparently. It's proper high. Oh yeah, okay. Right, so this is the way in? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, well, right, we're here, are we? Shit. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's a, it's a slope down. It's quite a, it's quite, so we're going to have to be, be careful on the way down because it's quite a slope. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do this. So, uh, Ian is borrowing this uh, 360 cam. We're trying it in different modes. And uh, he's going to see how that looks, but uh, yeah, my camera fresh from being attacked the other night in Plymouth, and uh, we're just seeing whether it still works. It looks all right. Yeah, it's looking good. Probably look better if I actually bother to clean the lens, but it's yeah. been in battle. It has. It's got some scars, so yeah. So thank you, Mr. Ian uh, K. Uh, something. I won't say your surname. I do know what it is, but I'll keep it secret. But yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, because we got a lot of people know about it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay, Ian K. Something. Uh, Please show us the way. Show us the way, right. So it's going to be awkward, this is, so you've got to be uh, careful. Because at the bottom, it's not as dangerous anymore, but at the bottom, yeah. years ago... Do you want me to hand down? Um, that should be all right. Yeah. But years ago, down the bottom, it used to... It gets to the bottom like it's a T-junction. Mm -hmm. So it goes into the tunnels that way, but off this way, it goes off a slope down, and it used to go off the edge of the cliff. Okay. So it's not like that now. I think they've, they've boarded it up. But mm. uh, so let's see what we got here, then. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, if you want to... Oh, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, that's Once that. Matt's... Oh, God, yeah. Once Matt's in there, then uh, you'd never need another light again. No, that's it. It's quite handy. And Matt's uh, got a new Steadicam. Mm -hmm. So he's trying that out. So uh, he's going to get more subscribers than me soon. It's the secret to success, folks. It's not where you go and it's not what you know. It's just you've got a Steadicam. Yeah. yeah. Or you hang around and smooch about with really famous YouTubers like Ian. You know, and just name drop a lot. Yeah. Uh, exploring with Josh. And, uh, I don't know, Steve Ronin. Just drop all them names. Drop all them names. And then the sudden, suddenly... Oh, the proper people. Yeah, I've been watching oh, the proper it. people before any of the people who I know now. Yeah. The proper people 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're the uh, the early early sort of guys in doing this stuff. Yeah. And another one I like as well, which I never really talk about, but I'll tell you now. Um, and it's a guy that nobody really knows who he is, and he's called the Dying Buddha. And he does urbex videos, and he does stuff like Alley Law, where he climbs up to the top of buildings and things. He was doing it before anybody. But nobody knows who he is. He doesn't say a word. He's totally silent. And he just sort of like points with his finger like door. And then seconds later, it's like he's through the door. <laughs> Without an explanation. It's magic tricks. How did he get through the door? Yeah. And that's what I like about it. It's just all silent. It goes all over the world. And uh, yeah, it's pucker stuff. Yeah. I think it's... Mm hmm it's dying Lama or dying Buddha. It's one of the one of the things. But uh, yeah, he doesn't do many videos anymore. I, I'm not seeing many updates from him. But you just go through his back catalogue. It's it is good. It's very good. Anyway, why am I pointing at me? What's the point of pointing at me when I can be pointing down there? Look at that. Mm, it's a steeple bitch. This isn't it? I think I can get away with that saying that. Mm. And it's a, it's a bit of a, woo, it's a bit of a uh, slippery, it's not terribly bad, but it's, it is a bit slippy. Watch out with the venomous snakes, bro. Really? Yeah. Well. So watch this here, this is a slippery thing. Oh, right. That's all that's nice. And how far down is that good? Do you know? It's probably about... Oh my god. Oh, nice. That tin used to be across there that to sort of, and people put up Whoa. mud against it to protect people from falling down it, but it's something kicked it through. Yeah. That's bad, that is. That is, yeah. Is that the way to the cliff? Yeah. That goes out, it's over the yeah, overhang. The oh, cliff. really? So, so if it drops down straight down to the beach, there's no slope on I think it's just bang straight down. Mm. It's got to be about 80, 100 feet down. So if you get this far, what you're saying is don't explore that bit. No, leave that. Yeah. Nice and cool, that's what we want. Very cool. Mm. It's not raining. Yeah. The dust. Mm. Bothered to get my first um, proper face breathing thing with proper filters. Oh, you've got one, have you? I've got one today. Well, I didn't bother bringing it from the car, but. Yeah. Should be all right around these places. It's quite misty, isn't it? Or dusty. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it like this before, have I? Mm. I've never seen it like that. I've had a hell of a lot of time, but I've not seen it like this before. I think it's because it's such a hot, humid day today. It's condensing now, and this is cloud in yeah. here. This is literally cloud. Because we've had it before where we go down to like a large sloping chamber, like huge, like 500 feet. You get halfway down, and there's clouds forming in the middle. Yeah. And just hanging around. So, yeah, it's a toilet or. I don't know what this was, sort of storage or something. Hmm. It's got like a similar one in each entrance. Oh, man in black. Oh, yeah, another ghost, another alien. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, he's got a. He's got. He's got things that cannot be mentioned. Oh. For monetization reasons. <laughs> he's got that. actually put my name on it, you see that? What, on the bloke? Yeah. Really? You, you... Oh yeah, IKS, <laughs> IKS, and uh, and uh, oh, oh my God, dear. Jesus, folks, come on! You're getting famous now, man. Oh, no. You're the boogeyman with the with the um, with the, with the large um, anti monetization <laughs> features. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my God! So yeah, this is all accommodation for the the battery of. Uh, I think it was St. Martin's battery or, or the Z rocket battery, it's one of them, so it's a bit confusing between mm. people say it was a Z rocket propulsion battery, but I remember hearing about that Z rocket. Did they end up doing something on the Isle of Wight with that as well? Yeah, similar, yeah, it sounds On the rock face of the Isle of Wight. Yeah. On the far the needles, side. Is it? That's right, yeah. Mm. And uh, there's still some bits of the concrete still there. But uh, it's hard to believe that somewhere close to, you know, civilization, they were testing rocket engines and things like that, you know, yeah. nearby. But these look like the old... Um, Air ring, Charlie, you reckon? Well, yeah, it's... 
reminiscent of like London undergrounds and yeah. things like that. And the rotor bunker at Portland, a little bit, because mm. that's more circular, isn't it, with the screw in yeah, that's bolts. Like the London tubes, isn't it? Tube mm. uh, castings. But yeah, look at this damp on the floor. This is this is wood we're walking on, but it yeah. make, it's it's so destroyed. It's become like a nice padded. It's all the the pad blinding, isn't it? It's a padded floor. So these wooden <laughs> bits would have gone, as you can see here, probably up and around. So you thought you were in a nice little enclosed area, but from a health and safety point of view, making it much more fire risk prone. Yeah, you'd be better off with a metal rather than bits of wood like that. I'd turn it into a tinderbox. <laughs> But I suppose they wanted to make things look homely if it was for the public. Yeah, this wasn't for public, public though. No. This was. Uh, oh, as Matt was saying, looks like. Uh, looks like a sort of. An Anderson vacuum. Shop. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's nice though, it's roomy once you get in. Yeah, nice and cool. Nice and cool, yeah. We've lost the, the, we've lost the moisture. Look, you know, it's. We can see ahead again now. So that moisture was at a specific point on the way in. The Whereas, first time I come in here was 2004. And they used to have pigeons in it. Because you used to come into the entrance and the pigeons used to, because you're walking in, the pigeons used to just walk in and obviously you'd be chasing yes. them into the tunnels. Yes. And uh, yeah. They soon went. The old years past. It's just a, it's like a rectangle shaped really layout. Concrete. Where did that go? You know? That's another entrance that goes up. It can go up there. It goes quite far. It shows you how far underground we are. Yeah, we'll see that later. Yeah. So in orientation, where would you say does it come out near the uh, monument and things we were at? Well, nearby. You see that it must be around near that gate. Yeah. We come through around there somewhere. Hmm. Must be, but it goes up there and then it goes up another flight of stairs like this, mm -hmm. and it's just concrete at the top. Right. It's worth having a look though. Mm. So there we are, if you want to see what, it, what it's like, uh, if you turn yours off, and I'll turn mine off and we'll see what we can get. I'll get it open up a little bit, can you get anything? I don't know, there's something there. I'll turn it down now to uh, slower, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Turn it down using slower frame speeds. Sixth of a second. No, a little bit of scatter light. Probably just a little bit of scatter light. There we go. Like, you can kind of see there. But, you know, just a little bit of light like that. Look and look what you can see on the on the screen. Yeah, that's mad. And I I can't see more than about. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five bars back. No, okay. and I can see probably much to the end. To the top, yeah, you can. It's mad. And then you can put the whole light on and, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, handy. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. So that's, if, you, if, you, if you've got a stabiliser, you can put it onto these low modes. But if you were shaking around, it would just be blurry image. But because it's like that, you know, it's obviously catching up the image like that. But you can get some really slow spe uh, speed stuff. That's like back up on the 50s and 60s now. Yeah. So, yeah. That's nice. Oh. So we've got it's again, I don't know what these concrete things are. They almost look like urinal or something because they're separate, yeah. separating things. So you've got one there, another one there, and possibly one there. And all you'd really need would be a, a sheet, I suppose, to keep people separated. Yeah. So the one entrance we come in was had a roof to it. Mm-hmm. And these ones. Oh no, you can see the wood more as it should have been. You see the felt lining. Oh yeah. So maybe that wood come up to that point and then it was felt oh, from oh that dear. point over. Oh dear. Yeah. Hmm. So, how many years have you been doing this now, Ian? Exploring out of these places since uh, 2000 and late 2003, I think it was really. Right. So this sort of stuff. But I've been exploring like the Western Heights and, and yeah. all that stuff with my dad when I was really young, you know. Yeah. So I'm really exploring my whole life, really. Yeah. And filming pretty much from when you started as filming, well, you, trying you to. Know, 
1991, in... when I used to go to London with my granddad and that, he used, to, he used to let me use his camera. Yeah. Or we went to HMS Belfast, the Imperial War Museum and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'd say that's, you know, that's... Um, so we were, were talking VHS or Hi8 or how did you start? In VHS, it must have been. VHS, yeah, wow. I've got a Hi8 camera, I've done a couple of videos on that. This is a film and the process is too expensive. Mm. It gets into the hundreds now, isn't it? Mm. It's, yeah, it's got to be very careful with your film and yeah. all that jazz. Yes, yes, and you might end up, you know, realising when you get it back, it, you had it on the wrong settings, it's half of yeah, it's too did, light or too dark. Went to bloody... Langton Hold Deep Shell, so I did. A, I closed the iris instead of opening it. I mm. Closed it right up and filmed. Got it back and it was just black. Mm. That's the way we came in. Yeah. The other end. So seriously, then you don't know who who wrote IKS on on the monster black monster uh, thing. Because obviously I'm the monster. So. Yeah, well, but do you think that that monster was there for a while and somebody just put that on there? No, I reckon that's because somebody's seen his video of me being mm. come down here and thought, oh, he'll be back, he'll be back. Do you know yeah. what I mean? so they've left that, that wasn't their last one. Yeah. for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, it's, it's kind of flattery in a way. I mean, I'd, I'd say that, you know, somebody's recognised your work. And, oh, they've uh, obviously got a little they're bit They're having a laugh, they are, aren't yeah. they? They're having a laugh yeah. and they just want you to have a laugh when you come back and see it. Yeah, get the old haters and that. I've, had, I've seen worse stuff in the tunnels. Really? Yeah, uh, stickers and all that. What, with your name in yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's no need for that. Nah. Just got to laugh it off though. It's, well, I mean, doesn't, yeah. doesn't wind me up. You know, it's not... It's, well, well, you know, just because we're all in the Hitler youth, I mean, and uh, it's, only to, it's only to be personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Dead end? No, uh, another entrance. I think we'll to the top of this. Oh, right, okay. So a similar sort of thing this end then. Same layout here with the these things and um, another way going down there a little stairs does this one go anywhere this, this more? one goes up the same as the other ones really yeah should we go and have a quick look yeah. now this is this is a different thing this is almost like material this time sandbags hessian maybe. hessian sandbags I yeah this would have been the entrance where the ventilation would have come down and that was the line the lagging mm -hmm. for the ventilation pipe so that's all been chucked down there Right. So that's part of the vents there that's just shut down there. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, cool. And the stairs. Oops, easy. From the other entrances, the stairs are all different. These stairs seem to be longer, and the other yes. entrances are shorter. Right. I'm getting a weird feeling walking up here, like as if I'm. It's a strange sort of angle or something. It is a very strange angle. I think it's because these things are bent back and it looks like we should be walking in a straight way, but right. like this. But because that's bent back and the illusion is that it's falling backwards and I feel like I'm falling backwards. I'm falling towards the back, but it's strange. It's like a vertigo thing. I do it, it in the game then. It's like I feel like I'm going like that. Whew. Ah, right. Like you're running out of air as well. I was thinking maybe it's something to do with uh, impending death, but I uh, haven't started seeing a tunnel yet in my vision. You know, like. <laughs> so start... that goes that goes up another staircase, like the one we just come up. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same sort of depth. Right. Yeah, but that's been backfilled from the top. Ooh. Yeah. They say if you think you're suffering from oxygen deprivation, you should ask yourself what's one and one, what's two and two. When you start seeing black around the edges of your eyes, you better be careful. So if you look up here, yeah. you can see where the, the tunnel lining goes up. It's quite, you don't really usually see that through the top of the, mm -hmm. the tunnels. So obviously it's all blocked off usually. Oh yes. You wonder what sort of uh, graffiti is behind the tin done by the Royal Engineers. Yeah. Yeah. And you know it. Never ever see that again unless mm -hmm. you take this tunnel apart. Tell a story. Yeah. There's graffiti up the other staircases from 1950s, I think. Yeah, we see a lot of it in box. Right. A lot of the old uh, miners leaving their little mark on the wall. And that's really cool. But it's done a lot of lamps and stuff, isn't it?
It was a lot better on the way down. I'm not getting that vertigo effect now. Oops, a daisy. And this goes round to the other end where it was just on earlier. Cool. I don't know if you wanted to have a look at the other staircase. Yeah, yeah, let's go and look at everything. Cool. Yeah, I'll go this way. Okay. That's a good shot there. Hmm. They're a simple layout really, aren't they? They're nothing, nothing complex. Yeah. yeah, simple but effective, but uh, you know, so much of it done in secrecy. What I find now is that unless people are actually shown that this stuff is there and it's around them in their places they live, a lot of people find it either mind-blowing or hard to believe, you know, that yeah. this, is, this stuff is here. A lot of places they try to make out, oh no, it's all been, it's all crumbled in or flooded and things like that. And when you actually manage to get near it, you find it, it really isn't. You know, it's, uh, it's still accessible and it's all still there. That's sort of a bit bent, isn't it? It's not straight at all, is it? Mm. Do you think it's like tilting to the left yeah. or something? Hopefully, it's was built yeah, like that. It's not yeah. subsiding. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if you're standing up straight compared to it. You want to hold a plumb line down, you do, don't you? Let's see whether it's an optical illusion again. Right, so Daisy. It's, they're very tall steps as well. They're, you've got to really step up each one. That, that catches your feet. So, Cat, Catford, TNT. Oh yes. Would they have put uh, dynamite in them, or are they just the chipping away? Just the pneumatic drills. Oh, this is this is taller. This one. This one goes on for quite a distance. Wow. Now the right at the top is that graffiti. Right. Yeah, but it is a challenge getting up there. Yeah, and somebody's managed to push down some rubble. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was part of the blockhouse. Like yeah. Pillbox style. Um, entrance mm -hmm. to protect the entrance. I just bulldozed it and chucked it in half of it. Mm. So it's all chalk, really, the hills around here and yeah. what they've dug out. And chalk's fairly easy to dig through, isn't it? Yeah, really um, soft, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's a bit, you know, similar consistency, I suppose, to, to the sandstone from Bath. Yeah. Yeah, but different type of material, but similar. It's great seeing the point. See if you look right in there, you can see the point of the drill. Oh, yeah. they, Drilling it. It's like little tiny bits like that. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Wow. This did have more sleep. When I first come down it, it did have more sleepers mm -hmm. um, propped up, but it's obviously it's rotted over the years. And... Yeah. Deteriorating. And, and strangely as well, I'm, I'm reminded of the time I visited the Battle of Britain bunker in London. Oh yeah. Which you can pay to go in and, and you come down at this angle, the main way you come down, and then you take a left down, right. get to the bottom of the stairs, take another left and you're into the, the big room where they have the, the wall and large plotting tables and things like that and, and also the, the perspex 
hangs over and they sort of like the people on top would look down onto the women with the tables and yeah. and shouting instructions and putting things on the walls and whatnot. But the Battle of Britain bunkers videos on my channel, but it's just weird that you come down and take a that it's almost like it's a decrepit version of the Battle of Britain bunker but without the room at the bottom. So yeah. I'll show you these were put up in, in proper fast times. Mm -hmm. That's probably why it's all out of out of shape. Right. It's just doing it as fast as they can to get it get it out, you know, because they need it. Mm. Is it built? Uh, 1941, about. So. Yeah. So, we're uh, in Dover and we're going to try and bang as many bunkers and interesting things as we can, thanks to that guy there. Hello. Who's the legend, IKS. If you haven't seen his channel, then honestly, do you consider yourself an urbexer? If you don't know this guy, you're, you're not really into urbexing, I don't think, because he's, he's done so many videos and he's always up and down the country. But where's the furthest you go to? Have you been to Scotland? Uh, furthest is um, Yorkshire. Right, yeah. Yeah, and he was up there for a while, but the weather was really bad and we didn't really get much done. Mm. But, you know, all the time in the world, folks. Yeah, <laughs> but he's certainly uh, it's Middle England and sort of the, the coastlines, I mean... God, I never knew that so much stuff was there. It's amazing. Uh, Down so, this yeah. way, there's quite a bit, lot of stuff like this, deep shelters. Mm. Yeah. It's where they were expecting to get invaded first on this yeah. side of the country. And uh, Dover Castle and the underground bunkers there. Yeah, they're everywhere. But Langdon Hole that we'll see a bit later would be uh, that was uh, back up for Dumpy under Dover Castle, mm. apparently. So there's not a lot of information about that, Langdon Hole. But it's supposed to be a backup commu communication facility for Dumpy under Dover Castle. Yeah. If that went down somehow, then that dump, uh, Langdon Hole would take over. And if you come down here and you want to go and visit Dover Castle, don't forget, you know, you can actually go in without paying. You don't have to pay. It's a donation to go and see. But if you want to donate, whatever. But you can just pay to go and see the bunker. So you don't have to pay the donation and the car parking and then see the bunker. You can just pay for the bunker if you want to go and see it. So it might not sting you quite so badly, but worth worth a look. I haven't done it yet myself, actually, because I had to pay. And I'm from Wales, and we don't like doing that. So it's kind of like a religious um, no no. <laughs> How for you, gents? Right. Yes. This is that's that's the Z rocket. Thank you. Yeah, and we've done it in rocket timing. And there's that steam again, look. It's weird. Mmm. Did you hear that? Hear the ferries? Yeah. The booming. Yeah, it's uh... I've never ever seen it like that before. That's crazy. It's like smoke. And uh, Ian's got the really powerful Olight. What, do you know what model that one is? This is uh... Dominator, S Intimidator 2. Yeah, the SR Mini. Yeah. Uh, this is not, this is not, only like 5,000 lumens, I think. I think the newer Olight's... On, on, only 5,000 lumens, folks, yeah. right? Yeah. The newer ones, I think it's like 24,000, isn't it? Yes. I think, uh, They'll see you in France. Yeah. Yeah. But that gets hot. I think this one I've got, um, this wide-angle one, is like a 1,200. They get hot, though. Yeah, definitely get hot. If you try to put them on those settings for too long, but you don't need it really. If you get one like this, got the bigger torch stock one, undo the battery at the back, otherwise it might catch fire in your bag, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good advice that. Look at the heat. Oh, yeah. Uh, my glass is now steaming up. Yeah, mine are. So we've gone from steamy heat, it's like a, it's like a, oh god, look at the, look at the black spider there. Oh, he's, he's waking up now, he's like, why you wake me? Why you wake me? Dan Dixon, that one's for you. Is that a, that's not a cave spider, is it, that one? Mm -hmm. It's just a normal... Tarantula. We'll see some cave spiders in a bit. Big ones. Yeah. <laughs> no one's scared of spiders, no? Mm, uh, not really, unless they're on me, but... yeah. No, these, they usually keep to themselves, these cave ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, my glasses are right steaming up now. Um, and the camera lens, which is uh, something you can keep, cool. keep, you know... You've got to keep on uh, doing this, I find, when you get in situations like this. Oh. Alright. Yay. Yeah. Quite awkward, this guy. You never know whether you're going to start to 
slip. Now, especially when it was more open at the bottom, when you could slip down that side of that bit. Yes. Super dangerous, that was. There he goes, into the night. International man of mystery. IKS Ian. No second Oh, up. sorry, no second no beep. Beep that out. Sorry. That's why I was I, I was calling that now. <laughs> don't, that? I don't just call him I, don't, I say Ian Beep. But yeah. I don't say like Ian from IKS, I actually call you by your name. Ian. Ah, yes, beep. Yeah, do you want me to help you out? Oh, yeah, mate, I need I need all the help I can get. Yeah, say that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ooh, don't forget. Whoa, whoa, watch the cliff. <laughs> don't forget, secret vault. <laughs> secret vault, <laughs> secret vault. <laughs> Secret vault, yeah. Secret vault. Just keep away from that cliff, otherwise there'll be no more secret vault. That's right. That shows you the height of it, though. Really, that's crazy. Yeah. You don't know what the overhang is for this. Cause... You could ha you could put the uh, thing on full extend, and you might be able to see a bit if you want. Grab that thing. So just like, untwist that. Do that, and then you might be able to. Yeah. Be careful, mate. You're yeah. Oh, you see the bottom just about. Whoa! That's not nice. And I just feel like it could kind of... He's on what's away. under it, yeah. Not nice. Run away! <laughs> Run away! But then, you know, they were happy to build this uh, entrance way to it, so... Yeah, it's weird. must have thought it was quite secure. Or, unless there was erosion and it went out much further years ago and it's kind of starting to I imagine it work its way back. There's a photo I saw of the uh, from the Germans took from France. You could see this, and you could see the spoil they pushed out from the tunnel no making way. at the bottom through that hole. Right. Yeah. That'd be cool. Cool. Hang on. Let's just. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a mark. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Whoa. I am. Every, every, everyone got everything. He snuck across the bridge flat out. Yeah. You like that? Oh. Yeah, we sorted. Yeah, it's what it is warm now, isn't it? And I was thinking it was cold when we it's compared to this afternoon. You come out and it gets really humid, doesn't it? Yeah, but compared to this afternoon, it was like driving along. Oh wow, this is so cool now. But you go underground, that's proper nice proper temperature. Down, yeah. yeah, we're going to be up on a late night one tonight and a late night mission. Yeah. It's the beauty of underground stuff is it doesn't really matter what time you rock up. That's it. Yeah, but. South Foreland's got a lot of stuff there. It's got two plot rooms, two deep shelters. It's got four magazines. But two of the magazines are really muddy ones. I don't know what would give them a miss, really. Okay. It's not really that great, really. Uh, yeah, the only magazines we had in Wales yeah. were the ones that uh, people used to leave in the bushes yeah. and oh. uh, for, the, for the kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think we could afford things like mag proper magazines, but uh, or bunker magazines. Yeah, Ian's like this is con this is comedy special going wrong now. <laughs> That's where we need to go. Well, cows. Yeah, I was looking at what what's the what's the glowing things. Yeah. Oh, bless you. The plopters. Are you not going to get up? Are you not going to get up? They were suffering. You're not going to get up. In the heat. I've got to stood oh. somewhere there. Oh. Just doing cow shit. Oh no! They were actually tame, tame enough to let me uh, stroke one of them. Normally they just like get away from me. He didn't bother getting up, which is quite nice. Friendly cows. Oh, so. What can you park here overnight? Must be able to. I think we just found a sleeping spot, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>